This playthrough is rated E for everyone. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Volumar well, back here with another episode of Threads of Fate. In the last episode, we finished going through the Temple of Doom. Well, I guess not really. You know, cat underground cavern or whatever. Dealt with a bone bone creature with rockets on his feet or something like that. Found some uh, 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 treasure hunters that took the tiara from us. Bell and Duke, an interesting pair indeed. We'll probably see them again after because they stole the tiara from us. And uh, Mint got into some trouble, but, well, we're not done yet. We've got a sorceress to check out to get some information on a cube on how to use it to get the relic. I mean, the relic. So let's find out what happens today as we go to the woods. But for now, I haven't actually shown what I go to my... What happens when we go to our room? I never actually showed that, so probably nothing, but I thought I'd see if there's any coins or... Oh, well, I mean, we could sleep even in the... We could sleep on the thing. I don't know why I need to go to my room to sleep. Is there any specific reason to do that? I have to find the the relic. Oh, you just get some dialogue about about that. Cool. All right. Well, anyway. Hi, Rui. How are you? I'm cool, I guess. All right. Let's get out here. You know, I hardly use the uh, camera like maneuver feature. I don't know, I'm just so used to stuff being static in games like these. So. Anyway, let's head off to the woods to, uh, or Mel's Atelier. We can go to the lakeside, but there's really no reason to do that yet, so. Crazy Mel, huh? Hooray. Oh, geez, not her again. Where do you think you're going? Why do you care? And how'd you survive the cavern? The last time I saw you, you got a rock crushed you. And then apparently you jumped into some water that I didn't, that Rui really never even saw, so. Gosh, you're so rude. Oh yeah, there's something I want to ask you. I heard you're not human. Is that true? Hmm. Who told you? Huh. Who told you that? You know, that's girl. What? <sighs> Calls me a polywog. I'm human. I can transform, but that's just magic, dude. I'm a wizard, Harry. <sighs> oh man. Wait, you know her too? Well, at least she's bugging someone else when she's not bugging me. At least. You guys know each other? Since when? Oh. It's a little secret. It's a little secret. Oh, good. Girl secrets. Great. Dot, dot, dot. Hey, Elena. Is he really a polywog? Yes, I saw him turn into a poly with my own eyes. This is getting ridiculous. You and me both, brother. So what is it, Rui? Are you a goofball polywog or not? Come on, you can tell me. This is the same lady who wants to, like, take over the world. I don't think I'm telling you nothing. It's none of your business. Hey, you're my rival, so it is my business. When do we become rivals again? I don't have time for this. I have to get going. Yeah, I've got. I've actually got important things to do. Fine, if you want to run, go ahead. Don't remember this. I'm gonna keep track of your every movement you make. You can count on it. Come on, Elena. Okay. Women, am I right, folks? No, I'm just kidding. sorry. <laughs> just kidding. All right, let's get on this horse and actually do work, unlike Mint, who's just playing it find the relic. We've actually got a reason. To, whoa, what the... What is this place? The doctor was right. This place really is strange. Yes, it is! Gumdrops and lollipops and rainbows every day and everything that's wonderful and I don't remember the rest of the song. Something, something, something. Dun, 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 dun. Anyway. Well, if this ain't a happy place, I don't know what is. Kind of reminds me of... I'm trying to remember, there was a game that was, had similar color palette back in the day, like Guardians Crusade or something like that. that sh you know, that might be one of the next ones I play. I forgot about that game, the one about a knight and a little pink ball of of goo. I remember enjoying that one, even though it's not a great game, but I remember having fun with it. Anyway, something to consider. What the heck? It's fancy Mel's Atelier? Ooh, you just said heck, dude. And then again, we said... But this, we've said hell before. Those two, like, those two bandits dudes said it. So you can say that, apparently. Or is it one of those games where you can say it once, and that's it? You know, like, uh, oh, we've hit our quota. Kind of like an R-rated movie. You can only... Or not R-rated. PG-13. You can say certain swear words on that before... You know, like, once or twice before you get to the the next the next step. But, eh, whatever. The... It makes noises? What a strange sound. Sounds like a musical instrument of some sort. Is that a doorbell? And it looks like no one's home. Mel's, Mel's not home. You must wait. You can play while you wait. 
the... That's a... What is that? It's like a little doll thing. Come, come play in our world. Giant balls, lots of fun. Giant balls? No, that's all right. What do you have? Let's play trumpets blowing and lots of joy. No, that doesn't sound interesting to me either. Uh, oh, a safe spot. I <laughs> didn't know parrots were safe spots. Who knew? I'll do that later. Uh, how about you? Please make big swings, very fun. Forget it. Although they just say if we don't if we don't do that, we'll just be able to be waiting forever. So, all right, fine. Giant balls, gotcha. Well, this will be a distraction, I guess. We are. What do they mean about giant balls, anyway? What the? Oh, okay. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Can we actually. What does this get you? Shooting star and strike, huh? Okay, so... Yeah. Okay, just jump on it. Huh, interesting. What's, what's this? Fungi? Sparkle? Head slam. Okay. That's a, that's a, that. Oh, we, and we, oh, we all have to reset. Okay, I'm just gonna play as Rue. Oh, I'm, I forgot these old games, you can't just like, it doesn't have a, like, um, oh, what's the word? It doesn't have like, not impromptu, what's the word I'm trying to think of? The word where you basically, um, jump at like any time and be fine. Or, you know, like, there's not like a delay, you know, that type of thing. But it looks like there is. Come on. Like, you can't just jump at the very edge. Do I lose HP while doing this? It doesn't look like it, so that's good, I guess. Alright. And we do need some... Uh, do need some drops and everything like that, but still. Oh, come on! I, want, I, I bet... I wonder if you can just jump on the uh, star again and uh, reset. Man. This, this game is showing me how, how good or not good my 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 platforming skills are. Here or there, this game does not do a good job of platforming. It's, it's hard to sell. Oh, I should have used that star ability from that creature. I wonder if it'd be easier just to, to play as the star creature instead. Maybe jumping will be easier. Ow, that actually hurt me quite a bit. Oh, you actually do more damage. Like if you play as Rue, you uh, you only do like one damage. So, Up t Ugh, come on. Okay, try to. Uses quite a bit of magic too, I think. When you use the, yeah, well, he uses four. So. Although I could probably use the, uh, I could probably use the, um, uh, oh, I can't use it. Huh, I guess you can only use certain creatures in certain areas, I guess, or something. I was about to say, I'll just use the, uh, I'll just use the, um, gargoyle or whatever, but uh, I guess I can't use it here. Interesting. Okay. Oh, oh, come on! Okay, oh, yeah, you know, I just realized I am taking damage from the creatures now that I'm in a weaker form or something like that, so. Okay, I'm just gonna switch to you whenever. Whenever I'm actually needing to get past that, like, one guy or whatever. And I need to hit some HP, so. Because I think he was only doing, like, they were only doing, yeah, like, one damage to me while I was in that one form. They were. Oh my god! <laughs> Come on! This, this is really frustrating me because it's showing me like I'm just not like I'm just not in tune with this game and like what it requires of me, you know. Am I not pressing the right button for this? Okay. 
There we go. Okay. Maybe we maybe we've actually got it this time. Whoop. Without actually I've actually had to stop talking for for a hot minute just so I can Okay. Can the can the Well who can jump higher then? Maybe he can? Because it wouldn't, I couldn't jump very far on the, I was wondering if maybe this guy can jump higher or something like that. I'll try this guy, see if he, uh, see if this is more effective to do. But first, I mean, obviously, certain sections are going to play as you, because you don't take as much damage. Yeah, I feel like this is not gonna definitely be but from the way things are going. It's definitely not, actually should I have stayed on that? Hmm. I wonder if you just lose creatures next in line over a course of getting so many uh, gems or something like that. Maybe yeah. Maybe if I jump on. Maybe if I leave that um, this thing up, I can. Uh, there we go. Okay. So all, all it took was just doing that. Shh! <laughs> Ugh! Game? Okay. I don't know. I might do it a couple more times, but after that I might just rush through if, if, it, if it takes me too long. Man, that's, this, is, this is actually... You know, usually when I play a game like this, I wouldn't be frustrated, but for some reason, I'm... Actually, that's a lie, and you know it, but uh, the viewers, but still. I feel like if I wasn't recording this, I wouldn't mind so much, and I'd probably be focusing a lot more on on uh, getting past this part, but because I'm, I'm recording it, then I, I, I feel like I need to do it perfectly or something like that so I get agitated quicker from the... Uh, it's And it's that weird turning, too. Like, if you turn, like, just enough, you'll just, like, go over. That's, like, no question ifs ands or buts about that even if I make the jump and I'm trying to steady myself I'll uh I'll uh, hit that too okay I was just trying to test something on that one really quick seeing if maybe I could jump on from that and yeah you can't uh, can't do the whole running jump thing you kind of have to stop for a hot minute and do it well, at least if, if anything it's gaining up my HP <laughs> you can, you probably, I mean, you can't see me, but I'm, I'm clearly getting visibly annoyed. <laughs> God. Oh, man. Alright, golly gee, Wilkers. Gotta get through this. I just don't trust, for some reason, I just don't trust jumping as that creature, you know what I mean? Just because of, like, his, like... He doesn't jump as far as Rue in human form, you know, so it's it's hard to trust it. But I can't I have to also be careful about uh about this creature too. Oh thank my goodness. <laughs> Alright. Are we almost done with this section? I don't have to take out everything. Oh, Whew. next next board, I guess. How many board? Please tell me there's only like one board. Hit Fungi, you get points. Okay. If you hit Fungi while well, he's underground, Fungi hits you back. Your name's Fungi. Okay. Game over when time's up. So we're just trying to get up score. 500 is high score. You get high score, I give you goodie. Here we go. Okay. Oh, that's a... Well, the problem is, is that this guy... Maybe I should do the... Yeah, I should do that swing, because I seem to be missing them if I'm... Um, I'm definitely not going to get a goodie. Yeah, I keep missing him when I'm swinging normally. I wonder if I'm supposed to be the... Uh, 
Um, yeah, the problem is the, the whole, like, the, the camera auto targets for something. So something I don't want to do, I'm getting, it's happening anyway. Like, like maybe I don't want to target the, uh, okay, you probably get a, like a gold coin or whatever if you do 500. So I'm not going to do that again just to get a gold coin. But the thing is it was auto targeting it. So something I didn't want to do, it was, it was going towards the fungi anyway. And I couldn't do it from, um, um, I couldn't do the horizontal one when it hit properly, so I probably should have changed it to a different creature, but let's play trumpet bullies and blood to joy. Hopefully it's more enjoyable than the last one. That was just annoying just because of the platforming was giving me a bit of trouble. So I was wondering if this was gonna be a oh no. Now what? Oh we okay, so we don't wanna get hit by that noise. Ooh, we got a new creature, the bird or parrot or whatever you want to call it. This one seems as bad. Uh. Oh, what? Okay. Huh, it wasn't moving when I stepped over there in the first place, so... Okay, well now I know about that for future reference. And I gotta get back to my jumping groove. You threw off the Emperor's groove! Sorry! You must have to just jump on it or something like that. That's how you... I gotta remember, you can't, like, you can't just, I can't do, like, certain, like, advanced games where you can just run and then press the button. I mean, you can, but you have to do it, like, way before the front, the front part hits, you know what I mean? Like that. Okay, so I have to jump. Okay, there we go. But you have to, I have to actually jump on it, too. Oh, are we seesawing? Is that what we're doing? Huh, interesting. I wonder how much of a jump it requires, though, to get up there. Whew. Oh, that one didn't, that one wasn't as bad. Well, I'm not gonna have much time, so probably not gonna get much of a reward. Scare cockadoo with trumpet sounds. Or cockadoo with trumpet sound. Step around thing to trump sound trumpet. Okay. Scare cockadoo and you get points. Scare many at once and you get many points. So you have to jump on it though, right? So. Game over when it's time out for cockadoo flies over your head. And does something nasty. Well, I'm definitely not going to get 500 points. Okay, so it's the same as before. Do I have to keep jumping on it, or...? It looks like you can't really... Okay. That uh, time's up, so... Oh, I didn't even get a point for that, so... I wonder if you get anything if you actually get the high score, like... I, I'm assuming it's a gold coin, but I could be wrong. Alright, anyway, one more game to go. Big swings, very fun! Oops, sorry. Alright, yes. I mean, what's the point of the forget? I mean, yeah, if you want to play them in a different order, but it's like we have to do them anyway, apparently, so... Yeah. It, I mean, if it isn't a gold coin, maybe it's something you can sell, but I, I doubt that that's a big... Oh. Um, actually, what does the parrot do? Does it double jump? Okay. I could have turned into the parrot to jump over it and go by faster if I really wanted to. I bet I can come back later at a, at a later date and, uh, and uh, redo the things if I really wanted to. Oh, that wasn't much of a jump! That was, that was pittance, look at that. I was expecting something a bit more robust, if that, if that makes sense. Because I jumped and I was like, I barely moved. I was like, okay. <laughs> All right, whatever. Fine, we'll, we'll do, we'll play this. I played Castlevania, some of their levels. I know what to expect. <laughs> anyway. Oh, no, I should have waited. Nuts. All right, try it again. Ow. All right. This one doesn't seem as bad. I should only have to do this one like a couple of times at best. 
I don't know why the first one, really, I don't know why the first one was, was so bad. It was just, I don't know, it just, it just, it just was, you know? I'll just wait. I mean, I could have jumped over that thing. It didn't look like it was that difficult, but. Uh oh. Game? I'll get you one of these days, my. No, this game, this game's got me by the tiddly widdly toes, if you know what I mean. I wonder if there's like crazy speedrunners of, of this game where they can just start these things where they can just do it in like a couple of seconds, you know? And it'll be it's so easy and I'll be like, ooh, you make me mad. You make me mad. Yes, with your with your awesome uh, uh, platforming skills. Hmm. Let me just see how many different voices I can do. And none of them good. Oh, you're a punk, dude. You're, you're a scallywag, that's what you are. Alright. Be free to fall. This is what I love in my, uh... Actually, then, I was about to say, this is what I love in my adventure games. It's platforming and mini games, but, well, a lot of... A, a lot of the adventure games kind of have stuff like that, actually, now that you think about it. Especially ones that require, like, movement and all that. Yeah, wait for you to... Turn around, dude. Turn around. All right, you're not gonna, not gonna give me that time, no siree. I'm, I'm wise to your games. There we go. Now we just jump right here. Stop. Look. Oh, we. Well, that's annoying. So I could either. So I could either like somehow finish him off or. Um, do I have anything that would be able to like take him out, or would I just have to jump over it? I'd probably just switch to that one creature, take out the bird, and then and then jump over it because there's no way I'm like landing down. Because yeah, I won't. I guess they take up just enough of a of a spot to. Uh, um, they take up the square, so I can't I can't preoccupy the same square, despite my best intentions. So. I wonder if that took him out or not. Okay, so it did. So I can just jump on that. Okay. Probably near the end, I bet. These don't seem like long levels, for the most part. Oh, that's a jerk move. Game? That's not cool! Luckily, I was able to... I was able to survive it, but, you know. Pick up balls and you get points. Pick up balls the same color, you get bonus points. How do you pick up, do you just run across them? Pick up black balls and you lose points. Hey now, we're, we're not like this game. You can't say stuff like that anymore. Game over when time's up. Let me guess, 500 points. 500 is high score. You got high score, I give you goodie. Here we go. Here we go. I guess you just have to run over them, I assume. Yeah. Nope, nope. Almost missed that one. I'm doing a bit better on this. Well, thanks for giving me one with all with all black balls. Thanks. Appreciate that. Well, okay, I was doing well, but then I... Okay, so it is the same reward. It's got to be bronze coin, silver coin, and gold coin if you get over 500. So, I don't see any... I mean, I guess I could look it up. So we've done all the games, right? I assume. I bet if you, uh, I bet if you come back here later, sh uh, they reset and you can redo the games if you want. I bet. All right, are you home now? Hello, Avon calling. What the? Who's this lovely lady? Um, crap. Now I'm trying to think of of a voice to use. Oh, that no. <laughs> I just can't do it. I think I already, did, I already did my southern voice, didn't I? Yeah, I did already. Um, hello there. Actually, I should just do my dot 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 dot. Am I dreamy or what? What's wrong with you? Why are you looking at me funny? Is there a poker on my face? Um, 
Uh, no, um, I was just looking at the fancy stuff you have. What do you mean? Was was she? Are you Mel? Uh huh. Whoa. Okay. A little weed, much? Oh, is that a bunny? Is that a bunny hat or something like that? And those cute little cat-like bat things? Okay. Some people can be fancy, Mel. Hello, Mel. My name is Rue. I came here because I need your help. Obi-Wan told me about you. He, he, he's all about o only hopes and stuff like that. So you want to break through until you let the ru like ruins? Yeah, we need to use this cube to do that. Can you please help us? No. What? Rui, Ru was it? Do you have any idea what you're dealing with? I need the relic, dude. The relic? It's not your ordinary magic item. If you play with it, it'll explode. Poof! Dude! Gotcha, you okay? Man, that's kind of scared the life out of me. I'm sorry. I thought I should have the mood a little. You're so serious. Why so serious? But really, the relic is a very dangerous item. Many of us who didn't pay the price some with their lives. Relics abound in this world, but the one you're seeking is Valen's relic. Valen? I've never heard of that, of him. Why does that name sound so familiar? Does that name ring a bell? Obviously not. Valen was the most powerful Eon. Most powerful? He could raise mountains and move the stars at will. No way. Who knows if it's true? Valen perished along with the other Aeons all the time ago. Because of his hubris! His demise is still a mystery. Some say he had too much power and destroyed himself. Who would do that? Oh, crazy, maybe. Really? I hope by now you realize how dangerous your pursuit is. I just realized she's got really big shoes. Anyway. Valen's... Valen's... Look, embodies power beyond our knowledge. Who knows what will happen if the seal is broken? The seal has been broken! Worst case, it might destroy the world. Oh. Worst case? <laughs> dot, dot, dot. I don't care. I don't care. I have no choice. I've come this far. I've spent every day for the last three years looking for the relic. I can't stop now. Ah, uh, yee yee yee. Aren't you stubborn? Oh well, it's pretty obvious I can't do rock it. Okay, I'll help you. Give me the cube. Why would you help me if it's so dangerous then? Just because I'm just like a lost little puppy or something? <laughs> really? You're going after the relic. With the weather might help anyway. So I might as well help. But you might be helping the end of the world though. Not for free, of course. I help you if you help me. It's about the Pumple Purils. Pumple Purils? You played with the movie, right? Oh, those things. Pumple Purils? Oh, you mean those dwarves? Hey, little people. No, I'm just, just kidding. Wrong, uh, I actually switched that around. It's supposed to be dwarves or vertically challenged or whatever. I'm oh, sorry. Anyway. Yes, they're my cute tippers. The four of them help prevent the TA. Huh, I think I only saw three of them. Four? That's strange. I only saw three. Oh, yeah. One of them is missing. I sent to Duco shopping and he hasn't come back since. I don't think he went very far, so I'm worried about him. Want me to find him? Exactly. I'll examine the cube if you find him. Compared to looking for the relic. It's easy, right? Yes. Come back here when you find him. By then I should be done examining the cube. Thank you. Thank you! Wait. What's up? There's something I want to ask you. Okay, shoot. I'm waiting. Never mind. I'll save it for next time. Hey, you're weird. Are you sure? Uh huh. I'll see you later. Goodbye. Bye bye. Well, that was a strange girl. I don't see why. Uh, I don't see why the, the good doc doesn't like her. I mean, she seems eccentric, but at best, at worst, a crazy. Ooh, poor boy. He still doesn't have a clue. You could give him a clue. It's just weird hearing the, the sound of this, the flapping of those cat things or whatever they're called. And he said he went shopping, so I guess time to go back to town, I guess. I mean, where else? Where el I mean, he's just a little dwarf character. I mean, where else would he, she, it, them be? 
The uh, hey? Who is this guy? Where is the dwarf character? Where is that Puri Perel character? Um, I don't know. Find out next time in the next episode of Just Threads of Fate. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.